I do want to thank y'all because your participation and what you do in support of the club that helps us with grassroots efforts and helps us get people elected to office here in, in Strongsville. So speaking of that, the few elected officials here I'd like to introduce today. One, our great state senator from the 24th district, Tom Patton. Woo! Tom, we thank you. Always a great supporter of the club and always here for us in Strongsville. We're glad that a state senator for this, for the 24th, is here in Strongsville. So thank you for being here. Also, uh, Ken Dooner, who is our councilman at large. Kenny. Woo! Thank you for coming here. Also up for re-election uh, this fall. Uh, we also have some other candidates here as well. Um, for council at large, we have Tony Zubek. Oh. Now, for the Ohio 14th House District, which does not cover Strongsville, but a good Republican that if we can get elected to have more representation from Northeast Ohio down in Columbus, uh, David Morris. And then right here in Strongsville, our, our very own running for the Berea Clerk of Courts, Mark Scherer. This is a guy who got get elected there to the Berea, to the Berea Clerk of Courts uh, this November. So thank you, Mark, for being here. Um, you know, a couple of things, uh, obviously, with uh, there's a lot going on in Washington. There's a lot going on with health care reform that we know about. Uh, and this fall, the club, we're going to try to put together a town hall on health care reform. But in the meantime, there's a lot that this uh, that you can do. Continue to talk to your congressmen. Continue to talk to the people in Washington. I think we're starting to see the American people wake up. We're starting to see um, the backlash of the people here and that, uh, that America's not just going to roll over and accept uh, some of these uh, socialist policies that are being pushed uh, on us. So to that extent, please keep doing what you're doing and be involved um, in the grassroots here in Strongsville. The club meets uh, the second Monday of every month here at the library. I will be there in September, um, uh, September 14th. This is uh, Sarah. She's trying to help out with the club here. Hopefully a future paying member of our organization. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And if, and yeah. if you do actually want to join the club today, uh, see Alice down there. Oh, that, a couple of things that remind me. I have to thank oh, Alice is up here now. I want to thank, first of all, my officers, uh, Georgie, John Motley, uh, for being here today and helping set up the committee for the pig roast day, which was Alice Frawley here. Alice, thank you. Uh, Shannon Burns. Back. Without them, and it helped me move these heavy tables. We wouldn't have had tables in the shade today, so big, big round of applause uh, to them. Also, um, our, also, um, uh, Mayor Tom Persiak couldn't be with us today, but he did send some great representatives. So, Donna and Ben, thank you for being here on behalf of the mayor. We're glad that to see you here as Jane, well. Jane, Jane, oh, and then um, also, uh, excuse me. Yeah, sorry. Unless Jane didn't know about it, his wife' name is Jane. Donna. I don't Oh, I did. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So, Jane, thank you for being so here Donna as, as well. Donna, Donna, Donna where's Donna's? Where's, <laughs> Donna's where? I got Donna, right? And, and what's your head? What's your husband? And John, thank you for being here on behalf of the mayor. Um, also for school board, uh, Rich Micko. For this November, we need to get Rich on the school board there. He's got some really good and unique ideas. So, spend a few minutes with him, and you'll see why Strongsville needs him on the on the school board. And also we have uh, uh, Pat Wright, uh, who's from Parma, but she's here for this kind of reform effort that's going on. As you know, there's two proposals now out there. There's the good proposal, which creates the 11 districts, um, yeah. that I think actually, was it, was it kind of what you were, we worked on, uh, Tom Pat worked on in Columbus. There's also this competing proposal, which the commissioners put forward, which uh, is not the proposal we're in favor of, but it, unfortunately, if it does pass, Pat has petitions to sign, and we at least have a Republican set of candidates. It's nominated. not Republican. It's, it's bipartisan. It's bipartisan, but ones that would hopefully uh, lean towards the Republican side. So yeah. if you can sign that petition, Absolutely. then unfortunately if that proposal does win, then we will have uh, Republicans on the ballot in November. Okay. Yes. Yes. I just want to tell him, sorry, Mark Witt, who's a candidate also for juvenile court judge next year. Next year, so. Mark, we expect you to talk with us. We will help you out and make sure to get you on the juvenile court bench. We need good, we need good Republican judges uh, downtown. Whether it's juvenile or common pleas, we need good Republican judges down there. So, well, okay, that's all I have. Enjoy the day. Oh, there's a huge cake over there if you haven't seen it from Western Reserve Bakery. Please help yourself to some dessert. When is the drawing for the 50 
called the 50-50 drawing. If you haven't got your tickets, see Pat Pell here in the front or Alice for 50-50 tickets. We do that and we're soon. Only, do that. We're only six, five, five away now. from $100. So, so, so five away from 100 bucks. We'll so we will be selling 50-50 to, to about, uh, we're going to do the drawing at, uh, what time is it now? 315. We'll do the drawing at 315. All right, again, thank you. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the day. And uh, my name's Gordon. If you need anything, let me know, but get involved with the club. I think we're seeing uh, when the American people get active and get involved in grassroots politics, they can influence the change in Washington. So thank Absolutely. you. God bless America and enjoy the day.